Hello and welcome to a video by Processism. I am Teen F and today we are doing my Meet the Altar video. Sarah has given me a list of questions, uh, so we'll go through it and we'll see what happens. My name for the sake of the channel is Teen F. I'm comfortable telling you my name, um, but um, Sarah is not yet comfortable. She's worried that it could be used to identify us as my name is a nickname that we went by in our teenage years. Uh, it was given to us by our sister's friend who we think may have been trying to be mean with it but we latched onto it and we absolutely loved it. Uh, we received this name at the age of 11 or 12. I formed when the body was 12 and I aged with the body uh, until I was 16 and then I have stayed at 16 since. I look like the avatar for the most part. The hair colour's not quite right, but b -Royd was being messy. I look like how the body did when the body was 16. Uh, just with better hair. Because the, body, the body's natural hair is quite thin, whereas internally my hair's a bit thicker, and so it's kind of like how we wanted our hair to be. Much like Sarah's internal image, Sarah's internal image is long, long hair. Same colour, but long. Whereas mine is a bit more of a manageable. We have dreams of what our hair could be, but, you know, we can't, we can't do that at the moment. We don't have the money needed to get the expensive shampoos and conditioners and the oils and all this kind of stuff. We have to just get the cheap stuff. So yeah, I look like the avatar. Let me try something. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is me as a whole. You can see black shirt, cargo, colored shorts, that uh, knee length. My favourite pair of shorts. I was so sad when they were my favourite, favourite pair. These brilliant cargo-like knee length shorts. And we were doing our chores one day and that particular week our chore happened to be cleaning the bathroom. And so, you know, as you do when you clean the shower, you pull out the bleach, you get all this stuff, and we wearing these shorts. And we switched whilst in the shower, whilst rubbing the shower with bleach, and fell over because the two different people had opposite... Um, had different centre mass and so when I it wasn't me who was it I'm not sure but when we went from one person to the next we fell over and sat in the bleach and ruined my favourite pair of pants which I was so devastated about and I've never been able to find anything like them since. The body now wears shorter shorts. I'm not comfortable with the length of them, but apparently we look good and I'm not out long enough or frequently enough to be able to. The pair we've got on right now are quite comfy. Uh, though a little too short for my tastes. I'm a little bit more modest in what I wear than what Sarah is. I like my baggy clothing. I like not 
being visible. I like my body being hidden. And Sarah used to be like that too, but Sarah's embraced her femininity and has, uh, the way she dresses now is actually quite nice. I just don't feel comfortable in it. My favourite animal, I can't reveal. Basically, my favourite animal starts with the letter F. It is the nickname that we were given. We, I would love to have a pet. That was my favourite animal. Sarah would love to have a pet. That is my favourite animal. I yeah I can't say more than that I'm sure Sarah when she's ready will let you all know my name uh, and then you can all know my favorite animal my favorite flower I do love tulips don't ask me why Actually, part of the reason why tulips are my favourite is because my they were my our mum's second favourite. Our mum really likes poppies. Um, or is it tulips first and poppies second? I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, part of the reason was my mum liked them, we got into crafts that involved them, and it just kind of stuck. I love, uh, so the next question is favourite music. My favourite music is worship music. I love singing to God, I love singing about God, I love honouring him and worshipping him through song. I do I I love the desert song who is it by let me pull out the Spotify which is new it's by Hillsong and apparently someone else Brooke Liggert Wood Brooke Liggert Wood it's a good song um I was introduced to that song at the church we were attending uh, for the second part of our high school years. My favourite food? I love a good green Thai curry. Love a good green Thai curry. Our dad can make a wonderful one from scratch. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, Sarah has lost quite a bit of our spice tolerance that we had as a child. Um, living with our grandparents who didn't do much spice, combined with living on our own and cooking for one and not having cooking skills, meant that we weren't eating spicy food nearly as often as we did in childhood. And so our tolerance has gone down, but I still love a good good green Thai curry my hobbies I like singing I like playing music am I good no do I wish I were good yes would I love lessons absolutely but we're not in a place where we can afford that uh, Sarah has been experimenting with the guitar and I absolutely love it I don't have enough access to the front to be practicing myself but I definitely tried to at home. Uh, we had our mum's guitar in the house growing up and I would try but it was too big for us. We've got quite small hands. We've got a guitar more appropriate to our size nowadays but I'm not out enough to play. What is my role within the system? If we weren't Christian, you would probably say I'm a spiritual protector. 
which makes sense. I hold a lot of faith for the system. Um, most of us are Christian, uh, if not all of us. There is one of us uh, who we're not quite sure what they believe. Um, but I am, I, I hold a lot of faith for the system. Sarah, Mist, all of us have different levels of faith. Um, mine is up there, much like Sarah's and Miss. Very strong in my faith. And so a huge part of my role is spending time with God and praying and worshipping and giving God the glory that he deserves. I'm not the best at it. I don't know anyone who is. Um, but most of my role nowadays is spending time with God. When I formed, I formed to deal with the Christian environments that we were a part of. Uh, initially, this was the year six youth group type thing that we went to, uh, where we were a lot of the people we went to school with also went along to this because, you know, it's a way for the parents to get the house to themselves. And that was difficult for Sarah. And so I formed to help out with that. Progressing into later, progressing into high school and changing churches and attending the youth group at our new church, I had to step in and take the brunt of some trauma. So I am a trauma holder. I recently gave Sarah a little bit more information about what my trauma is. I haven't given her the full extent. She's not ready to hear the full extent. But I hold the being the good Christian girl, being the healthy Christian girl, being the untraumatized Christian girl that people expected to see from us. And so I'm very good at pretending like I'm okay. I'm very good at having a smile on my face. I'm very good at uh, the positive and let me see if acceptable with finger quotations uh emotions i don't have the anger that other people seem to have because my role was to be the good quiet presentable version of us um And I don't mind that role, but it does have an impact. It does have a toll, not being able to feel the anger has impacted Sarah's ability to heal from the stuff that happened in that environment. Um, it would be nice to be able to feel the anger because then I could not be as passive about what I went through. What I went through was not okay. What I went through was wrong, should have never happened, and it is appalling that... Um, what I went through, that there was a, even a chance for that to happen in the church environment. Um, and so I'm hoping that one day I will be given a chance to heal. I can 
on the surface say that I have forgiven the people who have hurt us. And in many ways I have. But it would be nice to be able to feel anger. And not. Struggle silently with the things I've been through. What is my relationship like with the others in the system? I would like to take a more active role. At the moment I can't. Um, at the moment I'm pretty much stuck in the teen house most of the time. I deal with teen A and their antics uh, as Vin so eloquently put it. Um, so that's the vast majority of my thing is that internal struggle. Teen A went through some really horrendous stuff and so it is my privilege and role to currently help them and take the brunt of that as we currently need it. I don't have much interactions with the littles. I don't have much interactions with the middles. I like them. I don't know if they like me. Mist is working way too hard. Mist really needs help. And I'm so glad that Finn is able to, Finn is starting to be able to step in and help with that. Um, I like Sarah. I am so proud of what she's become. She has come a long way from where we were when I formed. She has come a long, long way. And I am proud of her and her faith. I am so proud and grateful for how strong her faith is and the fact that she clings to God. I am so grateful that she is our host. And I'm so grateful that she's actually taking a deeper interest. Uh, over this past year, she's been a lot more determined to actually spend time in God's Word. It's something we tried to do as a teenager, it just didn't happen. Now that she has a lot more control over her life, uh, she's reading the Bible more and I absolutely love that. My communication with her isn't as good as it used to be. I was dormant for quite some time. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of her. She's made great leaps. What is my gender? I am female. I use she, her pronouns. Uh, where do I live in the inner world? I am in the teen lodge, teen house most of the time. Uh, I've got my own room my own space in there. Um, I would love to uh, have a physical Bible in there. Uh, we know a system, uh, we've met a system who uh, has this uncanny memory. Um, they can, every single thing they've read, they know, they've memorised. Every single thing they've watched, they've memorised. They've got this incredible memory. I would love to have that for the Bible. I don't. Our memory is atrocious. It used to be better, but then Sarah found out about all of us and that went away. So, um, yeah, I spend most of my time in my room or with Tina. Uh, Tina A won't be appearing on this channel for quite some time, if ever. Um, they've got a lot of healing to do before it is safe for them to come out. Um, yeah, so I spend most of my time in my room or with Tina A in the Teenage Lodge. I'll go for walks in the forest uh, every now and then. 
it's nice out there um it's beautiful beautiful rainforest stunning um what do i think about the channel i love the channel i am so proud of sarah for finding a way where she can talk about god and have it be relatable you know sarah's always been passionate about sharing her faith and this is a phenomenal way for her to do it i am so proud of her and i love this channel i would love to be more involved um but i don't get much time in the body so that doesn't happen what is my relationship like with god honestly really well but also really not because I'm not spending much time in the body, I'm not getting a lot of the sit down and read the Bible. Um, I spend a lot of time in prayer and I pick up on the things that Sarah learns. And so I get, I'm able to, whilst I'm not able to access the memories of Sarah sitting down and learning, I'm able to access some of the, uh, if, what is the word i am able to access some to a good portion of the things that i learn not mm, things that sarah learns it's weird calling her sarah um because it's not her name she's more comfortable with it but it's not what she gets called <sighs> yeah that's fine um Yeah, so I spend a lot of time in prayer, but I would love to read more of the Bible. I'm not out enough to do it. <sighs> Whilst Sarah is able to coke on with me, it's a little bit harder to coke on back. Um, unless I'm fronting, I generally don't have access to the front. Um, but I do... I'm able to access some of the biblical knowledge that Sarah is learning. My favourite Bible verse or passage? I know it's so cliche, but I love Psalm 23. It's a beautiful psalm. It's one that the body used to have memorised. It's gone now. But yeah, Psalm 23 it's gorgeous gorgeous psalm um but the bible as a whole is so beautiful uh we a few years back our church did a series on numbers and it was super fascinating absolutely amazing book very hard to understand because it's written for a very very different time but gorgeous like amazing story amazing story i also like uh what is it my car three eight let me look it up i've just pulled out the bible and the phone my apologies i know this is <laughs> frustrating i just there's this beautiful beautiful verse and i want to read it out for you because i'm scared i'm going to butcher it if i don't find it it's definitely in micah that i remember here we go micah 6 not 3 micah 6 8 he has shown you O mortal what is good and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. I love that verse. It's the essence of... It's a huge summary of what it means to follow God. To be to work towards righteousness, to be humble 
and to honor God first and foremost. And the way we do that nowadays is through Jesus. Um, and as Jesus shapes us and molds us, we become better at it. And we'll never be perfect at it. Uh, but just this walking alongside God. And that's incredible. So, yeah, Psalm 23 and Micah 6 8 are my two go to's. Numbers was fascinating, but Micah 6 8 holds a very deep meaning for me. Oh, no, I've been filming longer than Vin did. So, I better say goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope getting to know me has been pleasurable for you um and hopefully it's got helped you to get to know us as a system a bit better please know you are loved by the incredible god of the universe and we'll see you in the next video bye